design. Oh yeah. What's the most fun so thing what, you do? Remind me, what's in that music? display exactly? I, I'd like to so the first modular mixer is in there. The Mavis mixer, which is famous for the the Who's Quadrophenia Live sound mixer. Um, so it actually was able to bounce audio in quad sound around like an arena environment. Um, and it was the first of its of its kind. And we have some, of course, the big fiberglass speakers that we're probably most known for um, in the 70s, and they're very iconic. With fiberglass speakers, what was the benefit of Was that always kind of built into it? Um, they were a little lighter, kind of although I think they used like 11 ply plywood as part of them, so they are pretty heavy. Um, but they were white fiberglass, and it was kind of a design choice that Bob made for marketing purposes because he thought that people would remember seeing them, and it was very bright. They do. Now, um, I, may, I may embarrass myself on the air here, but did, didn't Bob also invent some kind of a... Uh, it, 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 it's, it's not called a boat cover. Well, what is it? It's just singing to and it makes oh, the talk box. The talk box. Okay. Talk box. Tell, what, yeah. what is that? So the talk box essentially is a, uh, a ten watt driver, it's funny and as an you, audience member, it's a I never felt that when I heard the band. So actually. instead I, I, what I'm of going to say is your as an audience member, sometimes there are certain things that I miss to an amp, from the and then that uh, coming out, it, and it, it gets sent riff, it to be, the talk box, be, uh, like an and that audio fill. then comes up through this sometimes tube. Sometimes it's even a bass line, you know, which a, a bass you manipulate with the chamber of your mouth, and turn your mouth into like an acoustic chamber. Now that you mention it, and then that audio is actually captured through a microphone. Ah, uh, gotcha. Okay, and these are still what are we doing? for sale. Uh, are, are you guys making these? Or? No, I just, uh, Dunlop makes make the talk. Yes, yeah. I'm on the Dunlop website. We'll put a link to that in the show notes in case we have, I'm not, I know we have guitar players uh, in our audience, so that's that's pretty cool. Okay, so who, where would we have heard a talk box? Peter Frampton? Oh, uh, Peter Frampton, Joe Walsh, Bon Jovi, uh, even Tool's latest album. So it's still a, it's still a, a popular uh, guitar effect. And I, I did get a chance to ask Adam Jones, because I'm not a guitar player, and Adam Jones is the guitar player of Tool. I said, what does that feel like? Because I yeah, know that yeah. it's instead I know what of, you, mean. You, know, you know, it's funny because sound I think coming back out of my early going days, into your and I'm sure you did so this I, too when you're playing I, cover material. You can only imagine that the sound and pressure level is quite so bored. It's quite like, extreme. oh, I can't do this anymore. And he anymore. said, it feels like your fillings are being <laughs> rattled out It'll be the your same head. thing no matter what music you're playing. <laughs> like, the first okay. time I heard cover uh, band. Chris, you don't play guitar, do you? Check one, no, two, no, test I one, two, test, test, test. You know, we, I, I wonder if, if, if the court show should have a theme song, and we should use the talk box to, to uh, help record it. That'd be interesting. Uh, we, we could get, like, like a, one of your jazz guitarists that comes through the studio there, WBGO, and uh, bring up their, their guitar with a talk box. The only thing I can say See what they can come up with. Playing covers, you're learning a lot about arrangement. You're learning a lot about production. Indeed. If you're not thinking you know, we, about we, it, you can just we, go we through the motions and it won't sink in. But if, if you are thinking show, about it, and actually, I, I paid part of the session together in America. That's song invaluable song in terms of uh, writing the theme songs. So, I mean, that's the cool part. But um, I wouldn't mind yeah. like, like, more of a jazz feel for a theme song. I think it'd be kind of classic. That'd be good. Well, yeah, right. Maybe something like that. So, great. We're talking with Michelle Levitt with Heil Sound, and uh, she's not only the artist of the great director there, she really yeah, understands yeah. a lot about that always uh, makes me want right to go look and for a clip like that. I'll tell you what, it's 25 after oh, yeah. uh, the hour. We're going to hear a, a brief message from our friends at the Telos Alliance and about the new IP intercom called Infinity. And when we come back, uh, Michelle's going to talk to us about choosing the right microphone. I'd like to see the one where you're on Saturday Night Live. Uh, I don't think that's the one episode concerts. they never show and, uh, on TV. We'll talk about uh, uh, her own really? mic selection yeah. for her own playing. Everybody and, did, um, I think, unless you saw the right it when it went down. Instruments <laughs> for, uh, in, in studio. Anyway, uh, outside. last question, Don. Even the correct microphone you've been in the business for a long voice, time and you've gone through the ups and downs of not only the band, but the band business. She's got some cool information about that. I'm very curious to understand what she has to say about that. There's we'll be right back. Imparted to you along the way. 
Um, I am not I indicted to vice president of business without a main current director. The total charge of infinity. I have the internet system. Tell us infinity is different to any other insurance system. I barely because it's the first IP in the world system that doesn't have a matrix. Great communication within the broadcast environment is essential to TV and radio production. I think we tell us infinity you can link all your production. Danny Perlman was a brilliant director and production controller. Sound guy in the booth. Boom operates on very well. This is true. Your anchors. Yeah, you know, it's the attorneys, too. The generation of attorneys are a lot hipper.